guys, it's Arely, and today I'm going to be showing you my curly hair routine. Let's get on with the video. You guys are gonna see what my hair looks like. It's time for a wash day. So how do I detangle my hair? I usually detangle my hair before I actually wash it because I don't want to struggle in the shower, so I do that here. First, we're gonna pick up my disheveled water sprayer. I need a new one. What can I say? <laughs> we love a broken. To detangle my hair, I wet it first, then I apply conditioner. Here I'm just detangling my hair with a wet brush and getting all of the knots out. It wasn't too bad because I had detangled it three days before making this. Hey, welcome to my shower. And I'm worried because I'm recording this on my phone. If I drop you in a pool of water, that's gonna be a problem. And yes, I'm recording this with my glasses and I'm wearing my glasses in the shower because if not, I wouldn't be able to see anything, so. When it comes to washing my hair, I like to do the shampoo twice, meaning shampoo, rinse, shampoo, rinse. So in these clips, what you're gonna see me using is a little massage brush that I like using. I have a pink one and a black one. The pink one is made of this silicone material, so it's softer, and the black one is made of like a hard plastic. So it's really good for kind of itching my head and like really getting deep into my scalp. Also in this next clip, you're gonna see me launch soap at my phone. So here I am rinsing everything out. And the step after this is applying deep conditioner. This is my deep conditioner. Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Honestly, when it comes to curly hair, if you want those beautiful, hydrated, moist curls, you gotta put on deep conditioner. And there I was showing you how the bottle's empty because I use it so much. Now I cannot stress this enough. For an even application, I love brushing through the product because I know my hands will miss a spot, but that brush will not. It's been 20 minutes and I'm gonna wash this stuff out. When it comes to deep conditioner, just follow the label when it comes to knowing how long to leave it in for. I left mine in for 20 minutes because that's what I was instructed, but make sure you check your label. You don't want to leave it in too long. You don't want to leave it in for too short of a time period. I then use some raw shea butter restorative conditioner with sea kelp and argan oil by Shea Moisture. And I use this as a leave-in. I put in my leave-in right away to keep my hair juicy so it can really hold everything that the deep conditioner did for me while my hair is still wet and I brush it in. And now I'm out of the shower and ready to style my hair. So you're gonna see me spraying my hair with water because you have to make sure it stays wet. If you don't want a lot of frizz, make sure it stays wet. My curling cream is the Moisture Miracle Shea Butter Flaxseed Oil Moisturizing and Defined Curling Cream by African Pride. And now I'm using Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. And these products that I'm using are in fact drugstore products because <laughs> we love being thrifty. So from what you just saw, First, I put in a curling cream and then I put in an oil. My last step is putting in a gel to seal in everything and hold it together. And for the gel, I'm using Eco Style Professional Styling Gel, olive oil. For the gel, I spread it all on my hands. I wet it and then I rub it in again. And then I distribute it throughout my hair. I didn't show it, but I brushed the gel through my hair as well. Here you can watch me creating a part in my hair for the style that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be like a half up, half down kind of situation with two little baby ponytails in the front and the back loose. And before you guys come for me in the comments section, yes, I know my concentration faces that I make when I'm parting my hair do make me look like I'm constipated. Are you guys loving these faces I'm making? It's concentration. And before anyone asks in the comments section, 
my hair looks this way because I cut it myself. I cut my bangs. I gave myself two haircuts this year. And right now, this is the shortest length I've ever had in my life besides when I was a baby. And short hair gives me these cute little pigtails. Like, look how cute that is. And here is the other matching pigtail. For this next segment, I'm gonna give you a little breakdown on how I use a Demden brush to define my curls. I start by re-wetting the section that I'm gonna be working with. Pay close attention to my wrist and the way I'm stroking my hair. The way I would describe it is like curling a little ribbon with a pair of scissors. From there, you're gonna just do that to the rest of your entire head. Tip, if you're good at creating sections, you could also like evenly section out your hair for this. For me, what I do, I just grab whatever I see and I kind of make imaginary sections with my hands, if that makes sense. I also did the same thing for the little ponytails I did at the front. I re-wet it to make sure that the hair is very moist so it's not frizzy at the end. And then I did the same little curling motion with my wrist. And my faces, I can't stop looking at them. <laughs> You'll also want to maybe break up some of the curls and play with them just to make sure they sit right and that no crazy business goes on. I changed it to my pajamas. Okay, it's currently 10.58. I'm gonna be up for a while, letting this air dry. I'll be back if it's dry by then. If it's not, I'm probably gonna go to sleep and I'll show you in the morning. So now my hair is pretty much dry. It's currently, you can't see that, 348. And I'm going to head to bed. So I'm just gonna tie this on myself. Wearing a bonnet at night is crucial for curly hair. Listen, it might flatten out your curls a little bit, but cotton pillows will suck all moisture out of your hair and you'll wake up with frizzy and dry hair. If you really wanna hold on to that moisture, use a satin or silk bonnet. I also keep my hair super safe by sleeping on a satin pillow as well. Hey guys, I'm currently back. It's the morning. My hair has for the most part dried. As you can see, this is how short it is. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. This is how I do my hair. The only part that really changes is maybe how I style these front pieces. Sometimes I'll just do the bangs out. And that's how we're looking for today. So thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Time for some bloopers. As you notice, I have short pieces of hair. Excuse me, because I have an annoying pest that I need to get rid of. Any touch the garbage. Any touch the garbage. And you can go wash your hands downstairs. I uh, no, thank you. Oh, uh, yes, you can. And the video is already ruined. Excuse me, that's my annoying brother. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Say, oh, well. <laughs> I'm not letting him in here. Because there's other places where you can wash his hands. And if he wants to be an annoying pest, he will be extinguished. It actually looks nice. Thank you.